Some patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, have an elevated blood eosinophil count, which is associated with type 2 inflammation and may increase the risk of disease exacerbation. The fully humanized monoclonal antibody dupilumab blocks the shared receptor for interleukin-4 and interleukin-13, two of the cytokines that are most commonly elevated in patients with type 2 inflammation. A new trial tests the efficacy and safety of dupilumab in patients with symptomatic COPD at increased exacerbation risk and elevated eosinophil counts. In this Phase three international double-blind randomized trial, 939 current or former smokers with COPD at increased risk for exacerbations and a blood eosinophil count of at least 300 per microliter, despite the use of standard triple therapy, received either 300 mg of subcutaneous dupilumab or placebo every two weeks for 52 weeks. The primary endpoint, the annualized rate of moderate or severe exacerbations of COPD during the trial, was lower in the dupilumab group than in the placebo group. Secondary and other endpoints favored the dupilumab group, including changes from baseline to week 12 and week 52 in the prebronchodilator forced expiratory volume in one second, quality of life scores, and respiratory symptom scores. The percentages of patients with adverse events overall and serious adverse events were similar in the treatment groups. The authors conclude that in patients with symptomatic COPD who had type 2 inflammation, as indicated by elevated eosinophil counts, treatment with dupilumab resulted in fewer COPD exacerbations, better lung function, and improved quality of life as compared with placebo. Full trial results are available at nejm.org.